Hello, I'm Brian Hyland. I am the Associate Curator of Medieval Manuscripts here at Museum of the Bible. Now what that means is that I get to work with manuscripts that cover almost 700 years of history from about the time of Charlemagne all the way up to the time of Charles V. And then I bring these stories to you on The Bible is So. Hello, I'm standing here at the intersection of galleries four, five, and six on the fourth floor of Museum of the Bible to tell you today about how the Bible is so Byzantine. This location is the heart of a new exhibit that is the fruit of cooperation between the museum and three partners, the Ecumenical Patriarchate of Constantinople, the Greek Orthodox Archdiocese of America, and the Greek government's Ministry of Culture and Sports. Together, they have provided us with a series of artifacts, including manuscripts, liturgical objects, and a beautiful new mosaic, which will help us to see the influence of the Byzantine church on the transmission of the biblical text from ancient times to the present. I'll begin with the manuscripts because, let's face it, that's what I do. This area features four Byzantine Bible manuscripts. Three of them are on loan from the Holy Monastery of St. Nicanor in Zavorta, Greece. One is an 11th century Psalter. Now, one of its folios contains six circles with the dates of Easter from 1138 to 1143. Now, wait a minute. Didn't I just say that this was an 11th century Psalter? These circles with the dates of Easter show how this manuscript was updated for later use. The size of the Psalter suggests that it was for private use rather than for use in a liturgical setting. The other two manuscripts are 12th century lectionaries. A lectionary is a uh, book that is used during liturgies to be read aloud. One of them is a gospel manuscript and the other is Acts and the Epistles. The text was written larger to make it easier for a person called a lector to read aloud. Now, both of these lectionaries contain red markings known as ekphonetic notations. They were used in chanting the reading during a liturgy as a way to remind the cantor when to change pitch. Chanting the text of the readings became an important part of the Greek liturgy, as the short video on display indicates. It's over here. The fourth manuscript is a manuscript containing the four Gospels that comes from the south of Italy and dates to about the year 1000. Now, this manuscript actually belonged to the museum at one point, but when we discovered that it had been looted from a monastery in Greece during World War I, we returned it to the Ecumenical Patriarchate. And you can read about that either here or here. The fact that this manuscript is here is due to the Ecumenical Patriarch Bartholomew, who graciously allowed us to use this manuscript as a way to illuminate the problem of cultural heritage. The objects in this case relate to the Greek Orthodox Divine Liturgy. The printed cloth is an antimension, which rests on the altar during the Divine Liturgy. It contained the relics of a saint in a pocket in the back. The images depict the burial of Jesus in the center, the four evangelists in the corners, and scenes of the Last Supper, the crucifixion, and the resurrection of Jesus. The chalice bowl was a sacred vessel for holding the consecrated wine during the divine liturgy. It is inscribed with the words of Jesus at the Last Supper. Drink from this, all of you, for this is my blood. The spoon was used in distributing the Eucharist. Incense is burned during the divine liturgy for ritual purification and to symbolize prayers rising to heaven. The alabaster flask is the type used for carrying consecrated oil called chrism. The last item in this exhibit actually dominates this entire space. It's this beautiful mosaic. This mosaic is made of glass and ceramic tiles, and it's a replica of an original that is found in the Patriarchal Church of St. George the Trophy Bearer in Constantinople. It shows John the Baptist, or John the Forerunner, as he's known in the Greek church. And he is standing here pointing up to Jesus above, and he's holding a scroll that says in Greek, 
Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Now down here in the lower corner, there's somebody, nobody knows exactly who it is. There's speculation it's probably the patron who paid for the original of this at some time. So please come and visit Museum of the Bible, take in this new exhibit, and learn how and see for yourself how the Bible is so Byzantine. <laughs>